Morgan and I made a film together called Best of Enemies. It's a documentary about the debates and rivalry between two public intellectuals, Gore Vidal, famous liberal pundit, and William F. Buckley, famous conservative. I made a film called uh, What Happened, Miss Simone, which is about Nina Simone. The title of the film derives from an essay that Maya Angelou wrote when she was trying to understand a lapse when Nina Simone left the United States and you know stopped performing, and she was trying to understand what happened. We just did the math when we were doing our online of the film. Mm. 87 minute film, 77 minutes of archive. All that stuff we shot, we have 10 minutes. <laughs> That's it. Well, we started with archival. I mean, when I started making this film, I thought, you know, I want this to be from Nina as much as possible. Nina is a, is a person who has been pigeonholed, you know, appropriated, misappropriated, misunderstood. My mantra was to find as much Nina as possible to bring her to the audience. Before we like, you know, picked up a camera, we started with a four or five month process of you know, combing the earth for everything Nina. Um, audio tapes, of course, film and concert footage, stills, diaries, notes. I only interviewed very few people, um, very close intimates, um, to sort of fill in the holes of the material that I had. Our show is built around a series of 10 nationally televised debates from 1968. A friend of mine had a bootleg copy of most of them. And when I saw it, it was like, oh my gosh, this is very relevant to now. We came up with this structure where we had these debates and we said, okay, well, it's, it's a heavyweight championship bout, <laughs> 10 rounds. It gives us a spine that we can hang all this other stuff on. There's a Socrates quote that an unexamined life is not worth living. And Vidal changed it to an untelevised life is not worth living. So we, we had a wealth of material to draw from. We were four years in the process and then we finally got funded and we went to New York to the ABC. We had worked out a deal with ABC. We walk in and there's like reels of 16 millimeter film, a flatbed. I remember finding these kids at a uh, Young Americans for Freedom uh, convention and they are sweating. They're so active, they're going, we want Buckley. We and it was just like, okay, this is in. You know, you, and you find those things and it's, it, they're gifts. Yeah, on Bobby Fischer we didn't, um, the match, the great match where he faces off with Boris Vasquez, we assumed, you know, oh, you know, that was televised. It was like the number one for me, like we'll be able to get that. But no, it took us like six months and begging, begging a lady in the storage facility in Orange County yeah. to like, to, you know, get in there. And then when it comes, it's just like, <gasps> you know, it's like the angels are singing out of the FedEx box. It's like the most <laughs> exciting thing in the entire world. <laughs> One of the gifts I think you gave us with 20 Feet was a gift of listening to music in a new way. And um, that is a gift that keeps on giving and is going to give for the rest of our lives. And the moment in your film where Mary Clayton, you know, talks about that experience of singing, you know, back up there, rape, murder, it's just a shot away. You know, I've never had such an intense experience of re-listening to a song in a new way. People have asked me, you know, what do you want the audience to take away? And I want them to come to Nina's music and have like a, a really rich experience of the music that's like, it's not just, you know, artistic, but it's also like becomes emotional and kind of like, and that, you know, that's, that's the hope. And that's what, it's so fun working with music in that yeah. sense.